Hey, what's up guys? Um, welcome to my channel if you're new. Uh, welcome back if you're not. Um, in this video, we're going to be focusing on the markup for the registration form. Now, um, since the registration form is going to be taking up, or well, it's going to have the same look and feel as the login form here, uh, we're going to use the login form as our skeleton to set up the registration form. So now what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to first create the registration page. And then within here, what I'll do is I'm going to copy whatever we did here within the login form and then paste it within here. Then the first change I'm going to do is the name of the or the title of the page. And then also change the title of the card. Okay, and then the other thing is that since this is going to have some extra elements added to it, I'm going to also expand the bootstrap card to about four columns. Okay, so um, before we continue, let's just see how it actually looks for now. Okay, so as you can see there, that's our register form. So now the first thing I'm going to do is... Since this is a registration form, I'm going to have to add another field here for the confirm password. So within here, what I have to do first is actually cut this out or actually copy it. And then I'm going to add a, another bootstrap class, which is going to be a row. Right, and then from here I'm gonna re I'm gonna paste uh, the password field back. Then I'm gonna paste it again. And then there. So now this is the main password field, and then this is gonna be the confirmed password field. So what I'm gonna do is change some things there. And then the type is going to be the same, but the name is going to be different. It's going to be confirm password. And then also here, I'll say please confirm password. Now, I want these two elements to be aligned with each other. If you can check here, they're sitting, um, they're sitting in, um, they actually align, but then what I need to do is an, add another class to it so that it actually spaces out with each other so what I'll do is here on the form group I'll say call and then say call okay so now they should be spaced out evenly so now I'm going to do the exact same thing for the first name and the last name field which I need to add above the username field there so what I'll do is I'll copy the same setup I have here with the password fields And then paste it right above the, the username field. And then change that to first name. Change that to text. That to first name as well. And then I'll do the same there. All right, so I'm going to do the exact same thing with the last name field. Right, let's just see how it looks now. Okay, so that's our first name and last name field, and then the password and confirm password field. Uh, one other thing I want to do is um, I need to change actually this from username to, to email. Uh, since the user is going to be using an email to log into the system, I think it's appropriate to just change that to email as well. So I'll do this and say 
email. Then I'll say email. So email. And then I'll say email there as well. All right, so that's our email field. Now the other thing I need to change is the login button itself. So since this is a register page, I'm gonna change the text just to register. That will stay the same. The button will stay the same. And then what I need to now add is a checkbox for terms and conditions. So the first thing I'll do is just change that login button to register. And then as for here, I'm gonna add a checkbox. So what I'll say is input field, and then checkbox, and then I'll say terms. Then I'll just add a label there and say, um, I'll say um, terms and conditions. All right, for the time being, let's just see how it looks. All right, so those are the terms and conditions and then that's our register button. Now, the one last thing we need to add is a link here to the login page. And, uh, and actually we need to do the exact same thing on the login page side as well. So here I'll just add an anchor tag and say, Login on HTML. And then say login. And then also I have to change this as well and say already have an account. So let's check it one last time. So there you have it. So now if I click here, it should take me to the login page. All right. So now since we're on the login page, uh, I think it's also appropriate to change that from username to email since like I said, the user is going to be using an email to log in. And then we also need to add that link there to the registration page. So within the login, I'll remove that and say, dot HTML, and then just add the text register and then here on the username field I'll say email what is it the name there? okay and then say email as well and then also email so if you check it now okay so at least now we seem like we're on the same page. So now if I click here, it should take me to the register page and vice versa. Now that should be it for the login page. The one last thing I want to do is actually change the color of this thing since it's going to be like a demo link. So on the register page here, I'm just going to add a bootstrap class to that text and say uh, text primary. check now okay so there we have it now um just a reminder this is not going to do anything like i said i just put it there just to give the registration from some body or some volume um it's just there for sure but um maybe who knows maybe in future when we do improve upon this we might need to use it so um so yeah that's basically it for the registration form for now um once we, I think this this is the second video in regards to the in regards to the markup stage. We still have to do the register. I mean, what you call it, the error pages, the success pages, along with the dashboard. So, um, but yeah, that's it for now, guys. Again, if you haven't done so already, please like, share, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys within the next video. Cheers for now.